Now it's time for the Own It Toolbox, where we give you practical ways to own your faith and be a force for good in your community. Man, well, it's been another incredible week of CS Live, and I'm so glad that you could join us today. I hope that you've been encouraged by both Sam's message, our time of worship, the, the games that we've played, the fun that we've had. And I look forward to seeing you in our Zoom after parties here in a second. But before we jump in there, I just want to actually walk you through um, this process and even give you an opportunity, a challenge, for you to begin to own your faith. Uh, you see, we've got this incredible resource called the Own It Toolbox. It looks just like this. And in here are six different tools that we can begin to put into practice to bring ownership to our faith. I don't know about you, but for a long time for me when I was young, I wrestled with this question of, is my faith my own or is this just something I do because mom and dad say so? And when I began to actually begin to put some of these tools into practice, I began to put ownership in my faith, it became that much more meaningful to me, one, but I also saw God's hand at work because I wasn't just going through the motions, I was actually beginning to live into a relationship with him. And so the one I wanna to talk to you guys about today is the, the purple one in here, and that's this one called prayer, all right? And so if you don't have this, you can go to ownit.card.co with two R's in the, in, in the card part of it. Um, and you can find these very same resources if you don't have them already. But on the back side here, it, talk, it's, it points us to a passage in Scripture, Matthew 6, 9 through 13. And I wanted to go there and actually read that out because I think it actually really helps me get a clear picture of how do I begin to own this process of me having a conversation with God, with me praying with Him. It says this, and this is Jesus talking here. He's teaching people how to pray. And he says this, that when we pray, pray like this. Our Father in heaven, may your name be kept holy. May your kingdom come soon. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today the food we need and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And don't let us yield to temptation, but rescue us from the evil one. Why I point to that is there's a couple things that I recognize in this process of me praying and me and Jesus, Jesus is talking to me about who God calls me to be and how he calls me to be in relationship with him is he's ultimately telling me that in this process, I'm just to have a conversation with God in the same way that I would anybody else. I think sometimes we can make this idea of owning our faith when it comes to prayer, we've got to learn this uh, Shakespearean language and it's got to be this old English, like the King James version of the Bible. But it's not that. It's simply imagining God with you in that moment. And so maybe it's getting 10 minutes of your morning and you carve it out before you jump on your phone, before you jump and check what the news is saying or what's canceled or not canceled. What if you just took 10 minutes and five of those you just sat in silence and stillness and you just said, Jesus, you are here and I'm with you. And you just sat in his presence and you allowed him to use that space and that time to begin to bring names to mind and things and different things that pop in your brain. And as that's happening, maybe you're writing those down on a journal or on a piece of paper. And you're just paying attention to those different thoughts and you feel like your mind begins to wander. Jesus, you are here and I'm with you. Reminding yourself of that. And then as you step out of those five minutes, the next five minutes you spend doing a couple of things. One, it could be you taking the step to just one thank God. I see that's one thing that, that Jesus talks about here is he begins to thank God for all that he's provided, to thank him and take time to be grateful for all that he has done. I think so often it's easy to look at what's negative, what's wrong, but what if we started our day with looking first and foremost at what God has been faithful in, how he has shown up, how he's given you another day with your family, another day for you to be able to reach out to your friends, that you have technology that allows you to stay connected in this time. Another thing I see is that he takes some moments and he actually begins to do some self-examination, maybe some moments where he's sinned. Maybe some moments where you've sinned, where you recognize some things that you need to ask for forgiveness for from God. And you begin to have that conversation with him. And then another thing I see him do a lot is he actually invites the kingdom of God to come here on earth. And so maybe there's a situation that you're walking through, that you're navigating, a challenge that you're facing right now that is causing you to feel like you just need God's kingdom to show up. That you pray for that, you ask for that, and you invite him in to being your provider, to being your healer, to being your helper. And so students, as we go into this week, can I encourage you to make this process of practicing this tool of praying 
and leaning in and you just beginning to have a conversation with God, not just be something that we do on a Wednesday night, not just be something that we hear other people do or we just ask other people to do for us, but something that you step into this week, that you would consistently, daily, spend five, 10 minutes just having a conversation with God where you thank him, where you invite his kingdom to show up, where you ask for forgiveness for the things that you're walking through, and you actually pray and ask for his kingdom to move in your life and in the lives of your friends. I love you guys. So grateful to have you here with us. And uh, I'm praying that as you take this step this week, that God meets you in a powerful way. Have a great night, guys.